This podcast is on how to multiply decimals. Multiplying decimals is very easy. Basically, if you know how to multiply whole numbers, you should know how to multiply decimals. Our problem today is 19 and 72 hundredths times 5 and 9 tenths. To multiply decimals, the first thing you need to do is line up your decimals vertically, lining up the digits and not the decimals. So we have 19 and 72 hundredths times 5 and 9 tenths. Again, notice how my digits are lined up and not my decimals. So now we just need to multiply like normal. So 9 times 2 is 18. Carry the 1. 9 times 7 is 63 plus 1 is 64. 9 times 9 is 81 plus 6 is 87. And then 9 times 1 is 9 plus 8 is 17. Let's cross off the 9. Put a place where it was a 0. And now let's go to the 5 in the 1's place. 5 times 2 is 10. 0, carry your 1. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 1 is 36. Carry your 3. 5 times 9 is 4. 45 plus 3 is 48. Carry your 4. Then 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9. And then we need to add our two partial products. 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 0 is 4. 7 plus 6 is 13. Carry your 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 8 is 16. Carry your 1. Then 1 plus 1 plus 9 is 11. So we get this crazy answer of 116,348. And we know that's not right because we need to add our decimal in. To figure out where to put your decimal, you can do one of two things. Well, first off, let's see what actually would make sense. 19 and 72 hundredths is close to 20. And 5 and 9 tenths is close to 6. So the answer should be close to 120. So where can we put our decimal down here to make it make sense to be about 120? Well, if you put your decimal between the 6 and the 3, you'd have 116 and 348 thousandths, which is very close to 120. The actual way we teach, though, on where to put the decimal is by counting the number of digits to the right of your decimals. So in 19 and 72 hundredths, we have one, two digits to the right of your decimal, and in 5 and 9 tenths, we have one digit to the right of the decimal. So we have three total digits to the right of the decimal. Now you would start at the end of your number and go one, two, three spots, one for each digit. And that's why the decimal point goes right there as well. This podcast is on how to multiply decimals. Again, if you know how to multiply, how to line up your numbers, and where to put your decimal, you'll do just fine. Thank you for watching my video on how to multiply decimals.